story to tell. In service with the U.S. Navy since 1995, Harper's Ferry class is the next evolution of the Whip by Island class dock landing ship. This design sacrifices landing craft capacity for more cargo space, making it closer to an amphibious transport dock type, but was not designated as such. Externally, the two classes can be distinguished by the position of weapons. The Harper's Ferry class has the phalanx closing weapon system mounted forward and the ram launcher on top of the bridge, while the whip by island has the opposite arrangement. A total of four ships were built between 1991 and 1998. Harper's Ferry LSD-49, Custer Hall LSD-50, Oak Hill LSD-51, and Pearl's Harbor LSD-52. These are dock landing ships which support amphibious operations, including the landing of forces onto hostile shores. While the Whip by Island class ships were built to transport a large air cushion landing craft and also provide landing facilities for helicopters, the Harper's Ferry class provides an increased cargo capacity and reduces the number of air cushion landing craft carried from 4 to 2, as well as 340 crew members. The ships have capacity for 500 troops. Harper's Ferry class has a displacement of about 15,913 items, a length of 185.8 meters, a beam of 26 meters, and a draft of 5.94 meters. The propulsion system is for coal power stick, 16 cylinder DSR twin turbo, two shafts, 33,000 horsepower for a top speed of up to 24.5 knots. As of 2009, all ships of the class are scheduled to undergo a midlife upgrade to ensure they remain in service through 2038. Major elements of the upgrade package include DSR engine improvements, fuel and maintenance saving systems, engineering control systems, increased air conditioning capacity, and replacement of air compressors. The ships also replace steam systems with all electric functionality that will decrease maintenance. The ship has a landing platform for two Sikorsky Sea Stallion helicopters. The Sea Stallion helicopters, designation CH-53D, each have the capacity to carry up to 38 Marines and are equipped to carry out assault, support, and transport operations. The ship's service to air missiles is the fire and forget Raytheon rolling airframe missile, designation RIM 116A, which defends the ship against anti ship missiles. The range of the missile is from about 1 km to 9.5 km. The ship is equipped with two 20mm 6 barrel Raytheon Phalanx Mark 15 closing weapon system. The Phalanx fire 3,000 rounds a minute to a range of 1.5 km. The ship also has two 25mm Mark 38 and eight 12.7mm machine guns. The surface search radar is the Northrop Grumman 
SPS 67V, which operates a G band. Raytheon supplies the Airshot Trader, model SPS 49V5, which operates in C and D bands and is mounted on the main mast just below the surface search radar. The navigation radar is the Raytheon I to J band SPS 64. The ships are fitted with the Raytheon ANSLQ32 electronic warfare system. The decoy launcher is the Super RBOC dispenser. The ship is equipped with an ANSLQ-49 inflatable decoy cartridges and an Argon ST ANSLQ-25 Nixie launch and recovery system. The ANSLQ-25 Nixie is a torpedo countermeasure system, which is towed about 100 meters behind the ship and emits an acoustic signal to seduce a torpedo away from the ship. My video about the Harbour's Ferry class answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.